Hi everybody. Mesh Fusion offers two complementary systems for creating and editing the Boolean structure of a Fusion item. The 3D tree, which we'll look at in this video, and Moto's schematic editor, as seen here and covered in other videos. If you like, you can pause and read about the tree and what it represents. But uh, basically, the 3D tree shows all of your source meshes and their connections to Boolean operators that, together, describe how those meshes interact to form the fusion model. The tree is a simplified, unified, interactive representation of the Boolean equation, and mostly it frees you from having to think about Boolean equations and serves as a tool for creating and modifying the model. A primary component of the 3D tree is its branch structure. Uh, each branch combines the three standard primary Boolean operations, union, subtraction, and intersection. Creating a new mesh fusion item is covered in other videos, so I'll just breeze through it here, uh, grabbing a selection of meshes, bringing up the pie menu, and specifying a simple union. As a convenience, the tree is selected with the Move tool active. A tree with a single branch is created. In this case, only the union leg of the branch is used. The other legs are there for drag and drop access. Those empty legs can be hidden, as you'll see later. This three-legged branch is the fundamental building block of all fusion trees. It combines the three primary bully operations in a form that makes editing of the fusion item flexible and task-oriented. You don't really need to think about the Boolean equation. Those three operation nodes can each accommodate any number of meshes, or be left empty. The meshes in the intersection node are applied sequentially to the meshes in the top green union node. It's as if you perform an intersection with the first attached mesh, then another intersection with the second, and so on. With the subtraction node, first a union of its meshes is created. Then that is subtracted from the meshes in the top green union node. All right, uh, enough Boolean talk. Let's see some Boolean action. Um, I can simply drop a mesh onto a node, but uh, frequently what I really want is a new branch. Uh, dropping one mesh onto another allows me to specify the branch type, intersection in this case. Or I can undo that and create a new subtraction branch instead. Creating that second branch isolates the subtraction. In this case, the box only subtracts from the disk. You can continue building the fusion model by dragging and dropping meshes, either meshes from within the tree or uh, new meshes that you bring in. Using drag and drop, you can change the Boolean role of a mesh by simply moving it to a different node, or duplicate meshes within the model, as you see me doing here, by dropping a mesh onto its parent node, or create new branches, or naturally, simply add new geometry. All the while, of course, the Fusion model remains live and you can freely move between modeling your source meshes and editing uh, the Boolean tree. All right, well, that's about it. And uh, again, we'll look at schematics in uh, the next video. Thanks.